Poor Namaste, Poor Namaste, and everybody welcome. Welcome to the art of the word that I am from the heart, you know. Uh, I'm here in Mother Nature. I'm on the sun a little bit, and I have to tell you it's uh, not warm. It's a little bit cold already. Summer is ending. But cold and warm doesn't exist in outside of us. Nothing exists outside of us. Cold and hot are just energy vibrating on different frequency. And it's just that. But our body has the translating machine, computer, to translate it as hot and cold. It means when the vibration is higher, frequency is higher, we feel hot. And when it's lower, we feel cold. But there is no cold and no hot outside of you. So what I actually want to tell you is that kingdom is actually within you. Kingdom is actually within you. And there's no universe outside of you. There's nothing outside of you. Outside of you is only energy on different frequency interacting with energy, vibration. There's no hot and cold. No colors. No sound, no hard and soft, no love, no creation, no peace, no bliss, and no separation, no fear, no guilt, no blame, no hate, no consciousness. The kingdom is literally within you. Outside there is only vibration, energy, energy vibrating on different frequency. And these frequencies, these energies vibrating on different frequencies are interacting with each other and creating what we feel as hot and cold. Colors, bright and dark. Sounds, love, fear, divine consciousness, peace. Outside, there's nothing. Just see, these colors here around, they don't exist. Colors is just energy vibrating on different frequency. And outside of us, there's no colors. There's just energy vibrating on different frequency. So everything is illusion. And our body is composed out of energy vibrating on different frequency. And source that I am embodied in the body. So you see. We see colors, we see beautiful green color, beautiful blue sky, sun. Why? Because the light, the energy called light, which is just energy, it also doesn't exist, interacts with energy vibrating on different frequency. And because of that interaction, there come colors. But colors do not exist. Human eye. Human eye is equipped, designed, programmed to translate it into colors. So there's no beauty in the universe without you. Kingdom is literally within you. You are God. You are providing to the universe the experience of itself 
through you. And there's no universe outside of you. And that's why Jesus Christ said, kingdom is within you. Outside there's no colors. Outside there's nothing beautiful. But you translate with your eye, lens, all the beauty, all the colors of the rainbow. There's no green grass in reality. In reality, it's just energy vibrating in different frequency and energy of the sun interacting with it. And this lens, camera lens, is designed in this way that it imitates the picture, the perception that human eye receives. You see. But you see many cameras which are curved, blurred, double vision, distortions. So you see, mind translates the vision, whatever we come in contact with. And as long as our kingdom within is not pure and there is some separation from the truth, some darkness, just like lenses of the camera that are distorted, we also perceive the distorted reality. And until you are free of guilt and fear, attachments, questions and doubts, dependency, control and resistance, you don't see clearly. You have distorted lens, the mind, which is showing us distorted picture. So what is reality? If Whatever we see in this world is just the translation of the program of the eye and it doesn't exist. Just see, fish sees completely different. Somebody who doesn't see color doesn't see color. Their eye is programmed differently. Flies, they see only some orientation in the space and they smell very well. Dogs, they see black and white. There are many creatures that actually just see energy. So what is the truth? There's no truth. The kingdom is within you. So in the same way like your eye translates according to the programs, also your being, according to your unique nature, your point of perception, your way, and your level of consciousness, and your separation from truth, on being yourself source that I am, how much your mind, how much your source. That's how much of the truth you actually perceive. Otherwise the mind is distorted lens, programmed with distortions of the matrix, with attachments, guilt, fear, resistance, traumas, control, blame, sadness, despair and all these things. Attachments, conditions. You get a distorted vision, like through a distorted lens of a camera. That's why the camera lens has to be cleaned and flattened. Your mind clean, 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 clean. As much as we are in distorted lens, separation from self, from the universe, from the source that I am, that's why we see the distorted reality. Separation of this world. And that's why enlightenment is, when enlightenment says, everything is okay. Everything is beautiful. All the shit in the world is completely harmonious, working to greater harmony and unity. And you see the truth when your lens is clear. You know you are not your mind. You remove your lens. You see clearly from the heart. Let us speak about sound also. So sound is also when two 
when energies vibrating on different frequencies bang against each other, come into interaction with each other, like when tree falls, you hear a tree falling, but there's no sound. That is just energy vibrating on different frequency, interacting with energy vibrating on different frequency you call ground, and the interaction, the impact, creates the vibration, and there's no sound, it's just vibration, and that vibration creates your perception of the sound. There's no sound, there's only vibration. So that's the... Is there a sound if tree falls in the forest? No! If there's nobody that hears it, the tree falling, there's no sound, because sound is only the translation of the human being. Perception of translating the vibration into so-called sound. The kingdom is within you. There's no sound. There's no angel singing. There's no music. Without human being. Without a unique translator that perceives the vibration and translates it into beautiful music. Huh? What about that? And that's why there's no experience, nothing beautiful in the universe without you. Kingdom is within you. And there's no other truth but the truth within you. Why? Because everyone perceives according to their program in the mind, their program of the eyes, their program of the ears, their program of the feelings, their program of touch. And the truth is experienced within. And there's no other truth. The kingdom is within. And whatever the other is perceiving, translating, is according to the way that he is programmed on the level of consciousness he is, in his nature, in his way, in his unique perception. So you are the center of the universe. The kingdom is literally within you. <laughs> Like before I spoke, cold and hot, just vibrations of different frequency that do not exist, interacting with the energy of the sun that you call light or fire. But without your body and the receivers and translators in your body system, when the energy is interacting with your body, there is nothing. There's no hot and no cold. The kingdom is literally within you. There's just energy, the vibration. I can say this grass is soft, this ground is soft. And then I can go into my apartment and say, oh, this is now hard. This is hard. But no, there is no hard and no soft. There is just energy vibrating on different frequencies the floor and the ground. Energy uh, on different vibration interacting with my foot. And my foot is also just energy vibrating on different frequency. So what do we have here? Huh? Ah! What do we have here? There's no hard, there's no soft. But the translators within the human foot and the human touch system translate it at soft and hard. It's just the interaction with the energy of our fingers, of our foot, and the translation through the translating system of the perception that actually translates it into soft and into hard. So you see, kingdom is literally within you. There's no other kingdom. There's nothing beautiful. 
There's no beautiful blue sky. There is no sunset. There is no sunset on the ocean. There is no beautiful mountain and trees. There are no beautiful galaxies. There is nothing. Nothing outside of you. Just the vibration and energy vibrating on different frequency interacting with each other. And nothing else. Just energy. And that's why Jesus said kingdom is within you. Kingdom is within you. Kingdom is within you because there's no other kingdom. You actually provide the experience to the source that I am of the universe, to yourself. And you are the universe that I am. You are experiencing yourself within your kingdom. And kingdom is within. In order to experience the universe, you have to experience the kingdom within you from your unique point of perception. In your unique perception. And then you provide the unique experience to the universe and actually universe is within you outside there's nothing but energy vibrating on different frequency and when you kind of feel this and when you go deep into this then you kind of feel that everything is illusion everything is illusion everything is illusion but what is most important you know everything is illusion because what is then true if there's nothing, if there's vibration only and energy, then you translate everything. <laughs> there's no love, there's no peace, there's no bliss, there's no friendship. Without you, there's no relationships. <laughs> Source that I am incarnated in your body, it is you and in everybody. And this is consciousness, the perception, and programmed to perceive physical reality and the spiritual reality, and the mental reality and emotional reality. But there's no feelings in the universe. There's no love. There's no appreciation. There's no bliss. There's no happiness. When two Incarnated parts of the source that I am are interacting with each other. Love is a recognition that I am you. And out of that recognition, out of that interaction between source consciousness in human bodies that is embodied into energy and vibration on different frequency and when these two beings interact with each other, that interaction creates the feeling of love the feeling of unity, the feeling of friendship, the feeling of appreciation, the feeling of blessing, the feeling of happiness. Huh. Now you see what is here. Huh? So love is the recognition that I am you, of my truth within you. And there's no love, there's no appreciation without you. You see yourself in another. You see your truth in another and that produces the feeling of love, appreciation, happiness, bliss. There's no these things. Without you, the kingdom is within you. So we now go here. There's no love in the universe without you. Because love is actually the interaction with the source consciousness that I am you with the creation. You accept it. You see yourself in the creation and you love it. You love others and you love the creation. And that's why kingdom is within you. And without you, there's nothing. There's no God because you are the source that I am experiencing. The kingdom within you. So what is then fear, guilt, blame, control, resistance, force? These are the energies of separation from yourself. You know. The shadow of self. And it's always telling you the recognition of what you are not. Within you. Or when you are in the interaction with environment, this is not resonating with me. And you have to walk away. But if you don't, then you have the fear and guilt and attachment and like this. 
you experience the separation from yourself. Fear, guilt, attachments, control, dependency, bad karma, suffering. You are recognizing in the creation and in others what is not you. And because you are actually doing what source that I am you never knows about you, never feels about you, never thinks about you and you're thinking, doing, you are now experiencing the darkness. Fear, guilt, hate, blame, jealousy, sadness, uh, hopelessness and all these energies. You see... Yeah, but without of you, there's nothing. So the consciousness embodied into energy vibrating on different frequency, interacting with another consciousness embodied with energy on different vibration, interacting with different frequency, they actually, with that interaction, create the feelings of separation and love from self or the union of self. There's no God. There's no higher consciousness without you. You can be... And there are levels of consciousness. You know? And more you are in separation from self, more you are in low dimensions, separated from reality, in illusions. But truth is multidimensional. There's no illusion. Everyone is right in their truth. However they are in the truth or, or however they are in the separation from the truth. You create God. For out of your mind, out of separation from the truth, you come back to yourself, you free yourself and... You know yourself, in being yourself, you are not your mind. You know God, you are being God, you are being yourself, you are not your mind. So you create God. You give to the source that I am experienced to create this creation, to interact with your vibration, with your love, with your light. So you know yourself in your body, source that I am. You provide the experience. Otherwise, I'm only nothing. An unidentified, shapeless, formless, with no name, with no qualities, with nothing. But the kingdom is within you, so you create God to create, to manifest, to enjoy and experience. And more you are in higher consciousness, more your lens, the mind is purified, more you realize you are not your mind, more you embody and remember source that I am yourself in you. And before you are nothing, but now you create everything, you become everything because you are embodied in your body. And you provide to the source that I am all mystical experience, all uh, revelations, you reveal them. All the truth, all higher truths, all highest bliss, divine consciousness, divine bliss, divine ecstasy. The kingdom is literally within you and when you realize you are not your mind, that's a distortion. You are being yourself, source that I am in your body, you are no more nothing, you are everything. And now you can create everything, heaven and earth. For you provide a perception of colors, sounds, hard and soft, feelings, thoughts, divine consciousness, everything. And the kingdom is literally within you. And before you were nothing. Now you are everything, because without you there is nothing, there is no kingdom. Kingdom is within you, the perception is within, outside is only energy, vibrating on different frequency. And when you know yourself, you are being yourself, the kingdom is within you, there is no other. You are God, and you create heaven on earth, because there is nothing without you, I am nothing. 
You are the source that I am and you provide the experience of creation, of relationship, of experience of joy, of growth, of ever expansion. An experience of the universe, experience of the creation, experience of coming from separation to knowing yourself that I am. The universe is within you. There's nothing outside of you. Only energy vibrating on different frequency. No colors, no sounds, no love, no peace, no bliss, no hate, no fear. No divine revelation, no mystical consciousness, no God, nothing. You are the source that I am. The mighty God is a living human being. And when you are embodied, you are everything. And the creation is within you. Kingdom is within you. There is no other kingdom. And that's why I give you my word. For namaste. Thank you. Feel the word that I am. The truth revealed within you is your experience. Your truth does no other. The kingdom is within you. So don't fight with others. Others have their own truth in their unique point of perception. But there's only one truth, the truth within you, the kingdom within you. So experience the kingdom within you, you are souls that I am. There's nothing without you. And without you, I am everything for I'm you. I give you my word, I give you my word just for that. The answer is within you. And if anybody feels like you want to offer a donation, like you want to offer a support to the world that I am, do now do know you're so welcome and I appreciate it so much from the hearts of hearts. You have to know this. You have to know this. But I won't chat with you. I won't do messenger with you. I'm allergic to these things. I don't like it. I don't like it. But everyone who gives me donation, maybe you receive an email from me, like thank you, blessings, don't bless me, receive it, giving we receive, but one thing is sure that you are to receive, and I always do it, always I do it, you will receive my healing, I will not say a word, don't message me, don't chat with me, don't tell me what's going on, I just want to give you my best energy for the energy you've given me from the heart, no one forced you to. And that's why I want to give you something from the heart to chat with you, to guide you, to do these things. Which I would suffer. I would not do it in joy like you did it. And like I'm doing this, giving this word now. But I am very clairsentient and silent. I connect with your being. I do quantum white light, soul sealing on your complete being. I take my time. I take my energy. And you may think, yo, I have to tell you what it is. No. I'm very sensitive and I have my own way of quantum white light source healing. I'm not a medical professional. I'm not a healer. You never see me advertising. But I have strong healing energy and I have witnessed miracles on myself and others, especially animals and children, through that energy, although I have no medical proof. Something I know. Yeah, I know much, but okay. <sighs> But I will do the best healing in you. I'm so clairsentient. I only need in your in my PayPal your email address, and I connect with your being. And it's quantum white light source healing beyond time and space. You don't need an appointment. You don't need to stand still. You don't need that. You have my word. I do healing on you. If you tell me nothing, I focus on your being free of afflictions. It's the best way I do healing in you. And that's not something you buy, but so that you know. If you offer a donation for the answer you received here in my work, for that blessings, you actually receive my healing. But I cannot heal you. I cannot do anything but just give you my best source energy. I see children, miracle children, but then I see some people too much in the mind. Nothing helps. So my healing works as much as you work on yourself. I only do my best healing on you. But if you think that only what you perceive is real and that this reality is concrete and that nothing can be changed, 
and that you are just a lost human being in darkness, no one can heal you. But if you realize that you are source that I am, and the universe is within you, and without you there's nothing, you are everything, then you can be love, you can be peace, in alignment with yourself. We can create heaven and earth, you heal yourself, you save yourself. I give you my word only for every donation, healing is performed. And everyone, the kingdom is within you, you are the source that I am, the truth is within you, there's no other truth, so let them have their there's kingdom only within you. It's true this experience within you. I give you my word. Purnamaste. Purnamaste.